Hello and welcome to new video. Today we're going to take a look at the changes that happened over the last week. As you maybe already saw, um, I wasn't there in the last week, so I couldn't really make a video about like move updates, new Pokemon that got released, new Pokemon that are coming, and all that good stuff because I was on vacation, but I am back now. So we can take a look today at the move changes that are coming, especially like the community day with Gigalith and how this move will impact it. And yeah, in general, now I'm back. The videos are coming up for the next, like, all new videos basically are not pre produced anymore, unlike the videos you saw the last entire week because I was an entire week gone without PC and anything. So we can take a look at everything. You already see Media Beam going to be the community day move for the Gigalith on Sunday from the 2 p.m. to um, what's called then 2 to 5 p.m. So that's a little bit later than usual. We see here it's 120 damage for 60 energy and 100% self attack. Tag race. This move is pretty pretty cool. It's like a newer move that got added in the recent generation, I think. This move is commonly used in, P in, like in the normal PvP system of um, the main series games for Lunala, which is still a Pokemon that has to come into the game, but coming into the game is most likely at the end of the season. Hopefully this Pokemon also get the move update where this move gets into their move pool would be very cool because it's a very cool coverage move does a ton of damage 120 damage is pretty pretty sick 60 energy is a lot though but the 100% chance to buff your own attack is pretty nice especially if you have a fast move that does a lot of damage which Gigalith has the issue though is it doesn't have a shot of a fast move that does also generate a lot of energy there and here you have smackdown and i think the other one is smart slap so smackdown and smart slap i think smackdown is basically smart slap but does one more damage but has the same energy generation so neither of them generates energy pretty fast i think it's eight in total per much um, per much slap or smackdown which would be 2.67 per turn and we see here the common moveset right now would be Rock Slide and Super Power. You don't really see this Pokemon at all. You see the stats are a little bit more on the squishier side. It's not crazy squishy, but it's a little, definitely more on the squishier side. And then you see down there below the, the Gigalith with the Meteor Beam and then Super Power. At least you still have Super Power, which will be a good bait move, but Rock Slide already is such a good move that it doesn't really change anything for it. Now you beat Boring even more crazy, I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. This will not be the craziest change, especially for the Great League. For the Open Ultra League, you're going to see the same result here. You basically have the same results at the end there. It doesn't really help the Pokemon out too much. We have the Weather Cup coming up now as well. We already made a video today for it as we can see here you actually lose against kingdom now because you don't have the access to rock slide so it makes this matchup a little bit worse so it doesn't really look too good either here and then you have also the premier classic cap where you can only use non-xl pokemon and no legendaries which is going to be amazing cup to be honest it's my favorite cup most likely like definitely been in the past but we did didn't really have them for like ages i'm not sure how much it changed but we will see here again this thing doesn't really benefit too much from it snow is now not even a ko anymore and it doesn't really look too good on sims at all it's just not a bulky pokemon with a fast move that you know from um the bastard and basically that doesn't generate energy pretty fast and doesn't really help it too much if it had like something i don't know like they, we still need like a rock type fast move i think that generates energy fast okay we have rollout but yeah rollout is kind of also an awkward one i don't know it definitely needs a fast move update and also from the master league you get to like 3600 cp something that you don't really want to have anyway and it doesn't really look too good of course you completely annihilate the ho -Oh, but that's basically it all the flying types don't we want to deal with you but we have also two new pokemon coming into the game now which are already in the game and i already got a hunter for the katana which you definitely going to see later on this day for the open motor league i'm going to try those pokemon out in the open motor league as we see here with the um Celestealer and the Katana coming into the game. We have the Celestealer with Air Slash, Smackdown, pretty okay movesets. Air Slash will be the most recommended as its step and also generates energy faster. We have the Iron Head, Body Slam, Heavy Slam, and Bulldoze. Fun fact Iron Head and Heavy Slam are exactly the same move, so whichever move animation you like more, you can use them. They are literally the same. Um, so it basically only has three charge moves, and then you have the 
um, Katana here, which has Air Slash, which is uh, generates a little bit more energy than Razor Leaf, but you definitely don't really want to use it because it's not stab. But this Pokemon has a lot of attacks, so having Razor Leaf damage from this thing might be a cool addition to the Ultra League and the Master League, as this Pokemon is going to be pretty, pretty cool. And we will see here as well that it has access to Leaf Blade, which is going to be amazing with Razor Leaf together. X Scissor, which is also really, really cheap. Night Slash, which is cheap. And Aerial Ace, which is cheap. So basically having Razor Leaf here doesn't really hurt it too much because you can still get to the charge moves pretty fast as they are very, very cheap moves and very, very good moves. Your recommend moves that will here be most likely the Razor Leaf plus the Leaf Blade and the Night Slash. We can take a look at what they can do in the Ultra League as we're going to take a look at both of them in the Ultra League later on on my channel anyway. So subscribe if you haven't. And also we have the Skarmory in here just to, for a comparison for the Seller Steeler. We will see here Katana going to be pretty bad to be honest. It will be able to beat something like the Tapu Fini, the water types and also like something like the Lone Ninetales as you're going to be able to resist the charm. And you will do more damage I think with your Razor Leaf. But Celestia looks actually pretty, pretty decent here, going to be able to do some pretty nice damage. But sadly just still going to get outbooked and just way but like it's a little bit worse than this Kami here which is kind of annoying um here you recommended moves that actually for sale stealers bulldoze which is kind of interesting it's usually a bad move but gives you better coverage against something like a steel maybe you can play those two together in a team who knows but yeah this is going to be for those pokemon we still have the master league for them of course as well Cellus Dealer only gets to 3500 CP, not best, but Katana gets to 4100 CP, which is kind of nice, and I'm definitely going to get mine there because I have my Hundo. And we can take a look at this, and we will see here that neither of them are going to have crazy impact onto this meta. As you see here, sadly for Katana, Lugia will resist the move, Dragonite will resist the move, the um, Giratina will resist the move, both of them. And the Ground has Fire Punch, which will might even one-shot you, I'm not sure. Let's take a look at, actually at this one. But it doesn't really look too good, and Celesteel just don't have the stats for this. You will be able to win this in a two-shield scenario, but the Fire Punch actually one-shots you because it is so squishy with the Katana that... Yeah, this thing will still going to annihilate you. It's kind of insane that you're going to lose this. Actually, do you also lose this if you don't throw a charge move? Is my question in the two shields. You still lose it in the two shields even if you don't throw a charge move. But what if you are actually level 51? Okay, now I'm playing around. Um, Yeah, you always lose this in the one and the zero shields here, sadly. So, um... It's not going to be the best one in for a Master League anyway, but you're most likely going to try it out because it's just hilarious. Then we have some other Pokemon got in, getting pushed into the game. Usually when they get pushed like this into the game, they're getting released pretty soonish. So we're going to have this one here. And uh, the Toxapex here going to be amazing for the Great League meta. As Toxapex going to have access to the Poison Jab. I think also Poison... No, Bite. Actually, Poison Jab, Bite. Um, sludge Wave and Muddy Water. Also the Gang Shot, but you don't really want this, I think. Muddy Water going to be a nice bait move, but you're basically getting hard world from every ground and every steel type, so you have to be careful about this. If you don't get into this matchup, you will be winning nearly every of them. As you can see here, the book is insane, and you don't even really need XL cannons for them. It's here at level 40.5, so you need like 10 or whatever it is. So you're going to be pretty alright with this Pokemon. Um, this is pretty cheap to build and very, very bulky and has a lot of potential to be really, really good. I think that's going to be instant meta and going to be very exciting. There's another Pokemon that I actually here can see also how what it beats on the bottom thingy there before I forgot about this again. There's actually a Pokemon that I forgot about though. And this is Togedemaru. Togedemaru is also coming now into the game tomorrow actually. I'm going to try to make a video about this pretty fast as well. It makes it to Spark and a Thundershock going to be very nice. And you have also the Gyro Ball which is a pretty horrible move. Fasting on the Wild Charge. You're mostly going to have the moveset that they also gave you there with the... Felstinger and um, Toga de Maro. The Felstinger and the Wild Shot. As this will be a pretty cool moveset on Kalx. As you can see here, it does some nice damage against a lot of Pokemon. But um, you also get Hard World by a lot of Pokemon, by basically every fighting type and every ground type. Again. Um, but the funny thing about this is here it's just really good in Kalks because they just bait with the Fire Stinger, get the shield and then go for the boosted wild charge. In real life this will not be too crazy. It's the same typing as your Magnezone. As Magnezone is also pretty pretty cool. We're gonna go for the Shadow version because it's a little bit better. 
And you will see here that in the Calcs, it looks pretty much the same. Lose against Kofek now, but it's pretty much uh, another Magnezone. Not really needed too much, to be honest. If we can take a look in the Ultra League, you will not be able to get to the actual CP here. You just barely miss out. We can put it at level 51. Then you can kind of get close with it. But it just will not really have the punch that the Magnezone will have. So this Pokemon will not be the craziest either. But yeah, this is going to be it for this video. This will not be a really good Pokemon. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at this still on my channel. That's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Have a great day. And now we're going to get some nice and fresh uploads again. So see you then.